So we've been mentioning uh, we look ahead five years. One of the questions uh, we've got is, uh, what is your fo forecast for global stock markets over the next five years? <laughs> I think they will fluctuate. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it is a question that we get fairly often, I would say. But what's your forecast, either from a macro or a micro point of view, over a much longer period of time? And, of course, we'll go back to that false confidence of a precision. We think the market will be up 32.8% over the next five years. And you can walk away and say, oh, that, that sounded like a very accurate prediction. But the fact is that we, we don't know. We don't claim to know either. And so the philosophy and the process that we've developed over uh, since Aziz has started... To, to invest is to try and take those fluctuations out of our thinking and think much more about how will this business drive returns over the long term and whether that is realised on the 24th of February uh, 2025 or you know half past six in six months time is, is largely irrelevant to us. We're looking for quality businesses that we can own at a discount that can drive returns uh, for, for for the fund, for you, our partners, over, over time. I think there's, a, there's another thing, and I think Howard Marks puts it uh, best. So to be able to make money from a macro prediction, three conditions need to be met. Uh, the first condition is you have to be right, which is very hard to start with. The second condition, you have to be different. If everybody knows something, then, then it's already in the price and there's no money to be made uh, by discovering it. And that's also difficult. And the third thing is you need to be able to express that contrarian and correct opinion in a way that directly links what you invest in and your opinion. And that's also hard. And so doing all three consistently uh, has proven through history to be very difficult. Uh, I'm not saying that nobody can do it. I'm just saying that we can't. 